It is <laughs> a freezing cold day here. Now, it's a little bit later in the morning. I may have dawdled a bit. I think it home till midnight. And uh, I knew it was going to be really cold Monday. We're only going to barely move the horses a mile and a half, two miles at the most in this freezing cold weather. So I thought that maybe, maybe I'd come in a bit late. What Addy Bear? Plus, the kids have PD days, so um, nobody's at school today. Addy Bear, what's wrong, honey? Tell, tell the video. Tell the video what? Um, that Jody. Yeah, Jody Jameson's son, Jet. Pretty good hockey player. Yeah. And he's, uh, he must be the same age as Ava. He must be 13. He was in Pittsburgh at a hockey tournament. So Jody was there. We went out to eat the other night for dinner, and then Ollie stayed with them in Pittsburgh. So I'm going to go pick him up today. They're going to the Pittsburgh Penguins game. Uh, I don't know if I can make it down. I might. But we'll see. Uh, but Ava has dance night, so all of us can't go. So uh, up this morning, up this morning, over to the burn. I uh, don't plan on doing a whole lot at the burn. Uh, but, you know, still, hats off to our, our, uh, our riders, our help. And to my wife especially, who did get up early this morning and go to the barn. They got another little drink for her, so she'll be happy. Cheap help on a cold day, I can tell you that. Um, now about last night, obviously a very good night for us. Tech Sound Soprano was awesome. And the win was very timely, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I know what they would have been up to next week. They would have handicapped us with the 8-hole. And, and having the 8-hole on a half-mile track is like saying... Uh, we're going to need you to just go out and waste to start, if you don't mind. Uh, and, and listen, Alberta's had to race from the E-hole his last two weeks and was second and first. So I, I'm not certainly not saying that isn't the way to go, right? Handicaps are there for a reason. But uh, this particular guy is heading to Yonkers. So he won't be racing anymore at Northfield Park, which is perfectly fine. He's welcome back anytime he wants to come back. But I think the Yonkers is a place for him to go. Now, having said that, I've got kind of comfy in the open trot here at Northfield. So, do we have a horse to move over here? I wouldn't say yes. Yes? Yes, honey. We're going to the barn. Are you taking the shortcut? No, there's no shortcut. It's the same way we go every time. Um, now, I don't know if we have anybody who can get around half as good as Texan. That's why he's going to Yonkers. But uh, we'll look around and see what we have in the drawers of the stable uh, in, the, uh, in the drawers of the stable see if we can get another horse for uh, the open year I can't think of any off the top of my head stay close would likely you if he was on his toes but if he was on his toes he'd do at the Meadows uh, Kings County is going over to the Meadows so if there's not going to be Addy if there's not going to be a backup class at the Meadows we could try stay close here I would I don't think he's an open trotter at Northfield Park but again there's a lot more of those middle classes filling here right now, I believe. Don't quote me, but I believe there is. So Texan Soprano, very good last night. Busted him out of there to the front, got a little breather in the second quarter, and uh, he finished them off. Uh, finished them off pretty good on the end of it. Uh, my only takeaway, I guess, on the negative side is hanging on that right line hard again this week. We made some equipment adjustments, and he trots through it fine, but he'll he'll kind of shell up a little bit in the turn. So uh, Megan will have to work on that with him. That won't be a problem. Uh, you won't see him race this coming week, but the week after. I know that Scotty and Megan are in Florida, I believe, this week for a little uh, little rest, which they deserve. And um, so we'll, we'll send Texan out there at some point towards the end of the week. So a good win from him. We got four horses going postward today. We got Spitfire, Eddie, Spitfire, Renegade Gypsy, Locatelli, and White Tiger today. Very interested about what's going to take place on Thursday. Ready for landing. You guys know I've been touting him for a long time. And uh, he makes his first sophomore start of the year. He only had, I believe, one start or two starts last year in life. Um, so very interested to see how that's going to go. A number of horses getting ready to qualify this week and race this week, both in Ontario and Ohio. We have horses qualifying in Ohio this week also. Oh, he'll... Uh, No chance in Hill. I almost said Oak Hill. No, no chance in Hill. Likely will qualify this week, as will uh, Oh Snap You. Will qualify. Now uh, we're going to give Jason a shot at uh, What a Mission, who's never really been a problematic horse his whole life, but hasn't been on the top of his game. Made a couple of breaks on Luke, and then made a break on me in the qualifier the other day. 
two weeks ago. Trained well on Saturday, so I'm hopeful he'll do well on Wednesday, get him qualified, get him moving again uh, here in Ohio. Yes? No, it's pretty cold, honey. I'm just going to sneak in the barn and see see what's up with everybody. Bring everybody the coffee we bought them and then uh, and see if anybody needs anything. So that is what's on for uh, Monday. We had a great weekend, I believe. Addy, shush. We had a pretty good weekend, I believe, uh, at the track, and we're looking to keep it going this week. Now, uh, today we have the four. Tomorrow, I don't know we have a, maybe have somebody down south, but I don't think we have anybody tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, hopefully we'll have lots. Lots going on here at the barn on a frigid, frigid day. Uh, bundle up if you're heading out. Take care.